Well, tonight we're learning a valley town is cutting its police force nearly in half. And now some people living there are worried for their safety. New tonight, ABC 15's Ritabay Shabazi explains how some citizens are stepping in, all to protect their town. These are very difficult economic times, so I didn't have any real strong uh, feelings that it was going to pass. Four young town officers and a lieutenant will be out of a job by July. That leaves only eight officers to protect the town of 6,500 people, which means most of the time there will only be one officer on a given shift. They stuck one person on shift. God forbid something happens, who's going to back them up? Sheriff's Department? Uh, El Mirage, by the time they get here, who knows what could happen. The cuts came because voters turned down a primary property tax to balance the budget. With the way the economy is, it's really hard to justify more money coming out of everybody's pockets. Hey, home invasions are up. Everything's up. Anthony Manella, who voted for the tax, says he's getting people together to volunteer time at the dispatch center and form a block watch to help fill the gap. The criminals are going to see, shoot, you know. There's only one cop on beat here. Something happened. We have carte blanche in the neighborhood. And the police department is not alone. Other departments throughout the city are also facing cuts. Meantime, other neighboring law enforcement agencies say they'll step up to help fill in the gaps. Reporting live at the Youngtown Police Department, Rudabay Shabazi, ABC 15 News.